Hi, it's Nicole with Fasten DIY Workshop. I am here to announce our first weekly paint kit. So I actually recorded a video earlier of me painting this and I spent the afternoon editing it and getting it ready to upload and then it just disappeared off the face of the earth. So I'm here with the finished product to show you guys and I'm just going to kind of explain what I did and what's included in these kits and how the whole thing's going to work. So on Fridays, I will upload a video to YouTube and Facebook uh, of me painting one of our paint by line wood cutouts. It's normally unfinished like this with etching inside, um, etching etched guidelines. Uh, and so I will upload those videos on Fridays and that will be announcing that as our paint kit of the week. And you will be able to purchase that kit from our website until the following Friday. Um, after the following Friday, which in this case would be uh, April 24th. So you have till April April ugh, April 24th to purchase your paint kit. And then you will pick it up the following Friday after that. So your kit will include your unfinished wood cutout, your instructions. This is the first page. It kind of has a written out thing. And then you have a chart and it's numbered so your paint jars will be numbered that come with your kit you do not have to follow those directions you can do what you want but this is how i did it here so um you will get your instructions your kit your your cutout and i have made the paint brushes and the marker for outlining an optional add-on because you may need that your first time but if you order a kit later um, you're, you can just reuse what you had before. So I'm trying to make it, uh, to where you guys can save a little bit of money, um, purchasing more than one kit later on. So you will get a 10 pack of brushes. If you select that when you purchase your kit and also the marker, you can select to just get the marker, not the brushes or vice versa. Um, I've separated those out for you guys. Uh, so Anyway, um, I went ahead and I had painted this on video, which you guys can't see because it's gone. Um, so I painted the, the, the background, the green here first. Uh, you just use a very thin coat of the paints. And then I went in with the orange, uh, then the white polka dots. Then I did the flowers. And then I went in and did the little needles on uh, the cactus here. So the flowers are the only kind of different thing that I did. So I painted those with the bee's knees, the yellow. And I just base coated all four flowers yellow. And then I grabbed the orange from down here and used a little bit of that and mixed it in with some yellow to make this flower here and this one here a little peach colored and it's hard to tell in the video let me see if i can get it close enough for you to sell like there's a little bit of color difference and i did that just to make them look a little bit different instead of all four flowers being the same so i did that with with these outside too and then i just went in with a little bit of the yellow mixed with the peach here just around the little etching on the flowers so, and then once everything is dry, I went in with my marker and you just stick the tip of the marker there in your etch lines and outline it. And this is totally up to you if you want to do this or not. It just really helps pop your design out. Um, and it sucks that I can't show you my video painting because I actually, actually had held it up uh, when I only had a couple of those done to, for you to see the difference in it. Uh, but I went through and outlined and then around the outside edge though I didn't outline the entire thing so you can kind of tell I've just gone through and done a little bit here and there and it kind of helps it to not look so much like a coloring book when it's done uh, and then last minute I had decided to go in and add some little highlighting of just the white it just added something a little extra up there uh, so yeah it's super cute let me hold it up for you guys you can get a good look for a minute um, and it's the picture shows the colors a little bit better the picture that I'll, will be posted up um, but it's super cute with the flowers are actually more peach and yellow than they look in the video so 
anyway, um, you have until April 24th to purchase your kit. I am super excited about this. I've been, you know, trying to think of a way since I can't do my paint parties anymore. Um, I've been trying to think of a way to share this stuff with you guys and make it more exciting and something new every week you guys can watch. And, you know, next week will be better with the, with the video of me painting, but I thought I would jump on here anyway instead of uh, wasting the week away just because I lost my video. So anyway, like, subscribe, follow so you can see next week's video and the paint kit for that week and um, share with your friends. And, you know, this has been great therapy for me. And it's kind of funny because I accidentally stumbled across this when I was trying to open up a yarn shop, actually. So and I, I just have fallen in love. So I don't know where I'd be without painting. And these are just super fun because, again, anybody can do it. And it's it's paint by line, so it's like coloring in a coloring book, except, you know, with paint. So it's just, it's a lot of fun, and they're super cute. And I also have, like, hundreds of just unfinished wood cutouts that you can buy. These aren't kits, but they're they're just the, the wood cutouts and you can get paint on Amazon or Walmart, I know, has 50 cent two ounce acrylic craft paints there. So, I mean, you can get quite a few projects done with those and you can get wood cutouts online. I, um, I'm totally okay with people purchasing a bunch of them and painting them and reselling or selling their finished products. Um, I actually have on the bottom of my website on the home page, there are discount codes for bulk orders of over 100, over 200, over 300, and there's different percentages off um, depending on how much you order. So you can totally do that. I know everybody's kind of looking for an extra way to support their families right now with everything going on with the virus. Um, and, you know, even if you don't want to do it for money, you just do it because it's fun. So that's why I do it. I mean, I, it's, it's one of those things that's like my therapy and my job all in one. So I've really enjoyed doing this and I was so excited about all my paint parties and I cannot wait to start planning those again. Uh, for now, we're going to do these and probably continue to do these even then. Um, it's fun for people who, you know, just like to stay inside and not do, you know, the introverts, <laughs> which I actually am one, but, um, yeah, so uh, I'm thinking about a way to maybe either get a group together for us to, you know, be able to interact with each other on the kits we buy um, or doing online paint parties of some kind. I don't know. That's just something I'm going to be working on over the next, you know, while and try to figure something out. But right now I am going to be doing these kits every Friday. Um, the videos will be posted of me painting and you know, you'll have that week to buy your kit. There's only going to be, right now, this week I'm going to only have 20 that I'm going to make available. I just want to see how stuff goes. Um, it may increase over time. It just kind of depends. And also the time frame will likely shorten as I kind of figure out the interest. But right now I didn't want to order everything to have like 20 kits of each thing on hand if, you know, people weren't interested. So I'm just trying to put feelers out there and see what everybody wants. So if you have any suggestions, please comment or send me an email at fastenworkshop at gmail.com or contact me through my website and you can make suggestions. Um, but yeah, so all the kits will be 12 inches. You'll get your paint, your instructions, and your optional brushes and marker. So can't wait till next week. Share with your friends. Happy painting. See you guys later. Thanks.